fabulous folks. Welcome to the Mental Health in Black and White podcast, where we take the intricate world of mental health and make it as simple as, well, black and white. I'm your host, Zen the Zebra, and I'm beyond excited to have you join us on this journey. Get ready for engaging discussions, informative insights, and a touch of humor to lighten up the heavy topics. If you're new here, buckle up and hit that subscribe button. We release episodes every day, and trust me, you won't want to miss them. All right, let's dive right into today's topic and explore the ins and outs of childhood emotional neglect. To make it simple, we will be referring to childhood emotional neglect as CEN. Now, before we delve into this topic, let me give you a little mental health in black and white 101. CEN refers to a situation where our parents, bless their hearts, just weren't emotionally present for us when we needed them the most. They may have been physically around, but emotionally absent. It's like needing a warm hug or some comforting words only to find an empty space where emotional support should be. Harsh, right? Now that we've defined CEN, let's explore the signs that indicate that we may have experienced it. Growing up in an emotionally neglectful environment can make us doubt our own thoughts, feelings, and desires. We struggle to trust ourselves, constantly worry about what others think, and find it challenging to form deep connections. Our emotional needs weren't met, leaving us without a solid foundation to build upon. We may even feel lost, unsure of who we are, and whether we truly matter. It's like navigating through a foggy maze without a compass. Recognizing the signs of CEN is crucial. So here are a few more indicators that may resonate with you. Number one, the people pleaser. Do you bend over backwards to please others, always putting their needs ahead of your own? You have a PhD in people pleasing and it's time to earn that honorary degree in self care. Number two, the mind reader, constantly worrying about what others think of you. Yep, the mind reading superhero is real, my friend. But here's the secret. No one has a crystal ball to know what's going on in your head. Let that weight off your shoulders. Number three, the emotional detective. Are you familiar with the feeling that emotions are elusive creatures hiding in the shadows until they overwhelm you? It's like playing a game of hide and seek with your own feelings. Time to uncover and embrace them. Now, if any of these signs hit home, let's talk about how to overcome childhood emotional neglect and reclaim our emotional well-being. Buckle up, my friend. My mental health warriors are here with some practical steps to guide you on your journey. Start by tracking and acknowledging your feelings. It may feel strange at first, but trust me, it's life-changing. Get yourself a feelings chart. Yep, you can find them online and start noting your emotions every day. Begin with the less intense ones like tired, sad, or worried, and gradually explore the broader emotional spectrum. Once you get comfortable with recognizing your feelings, describe them without using the exact emotion word. Get creative. Express how you feel through vivid descriptions. For example, instead of saying, I'm happy, you can say, I'm feeling energized, excited, and bubbly. Begin noticing and acknowledging your needs. This can be a challenging but essential step. Imagine someone you care about having the same need. Would you think it's too much? Nope. Treat yourself with the same compassion and respect you would offer to others. Self-care, my friends, is a game changer. It's your way of showing your body and soul that they matter. Take stock of how you've been neglecting your physical and emotional well-being and start implementing self-care practices that nourish your mind, body, and soul. You deserve it. Make a list of things that nurture and care for you. Think about what you wished your parents had done for you and how you can fulfill those needs for yourself now. It's time to shower yourself with the love and care you deserve. It's okay to ask for help and support from others. I know it can be challenging, but start with the people you trust. Share a little about your day 
your challenges, and your emotions. Slowly build a support system that uplifts and validates you. Finally, set healthy boundaries. Say no when something doesn't align with your needs or self-care. You don't have to be a doormat for others. Respect yourself and your limits. Remember, it's your journey and you have the power to choose. And there you have it, a roadmap of overcoming childhood emotional neglect. But hey, don't forget to consult some incredible books on the topic like The Unavailable Father, The Emotionally Absent Mother. They're a treasure trove of insight and guidance. Now, my wonderful listeners, I invite you to share your tips, tricks, and stories in the comments. Let's support each other and create a safe space for healing and growth. Together, we're building a path toward a healthy mind and a healthy body. Stay tuned for more enlightening episodes. And until next time, take care of yourself and keep shining bright. See you soon.